Hola everybody, it's me, Maris, and it is, what is it, it is Memorial Day weekend, and I'm going to use the Angels and Ancestors deck just because, oh, it's my favorite deck, and, uh, you know, Ancestors are kind of what we uh, think about those that went before us, that, um, you know, we get our vibe from our ancestors, believe it or not. We get our vibe from them, you know. Maybe it's carried out in the DNA. I'm not sure, but there's one card, almost. Um, but it is Memorial Day weekend, and I've got my Kalaka shirt on, and i got Kalakas on the table, too. Um, you know, and that kind of represents the ancestors as well, and giving them honor. Um, okay, there we go. And let's just see if it spits out one more card. But it's Friday morning, and it's like awful, or awfully early. I um, started my day kind of early, and I mean, that's always groovy. I think I left my house like at 7 o'clock. Uh, did you dig the rain last night? Okay, well, it looks like... All right, let's see. Let's let that one drop. Okay, that'll be the last one. All right, so let's take a look at, ooh, um, I know you're like, she said ooh, now I want to know what the ooh's about, okay, well, let's flip the camera over, and you'll see what the ooh is about. All right, we are looking at, oh, first, there's my Kalakas. My friend Matthew gave me those. They're a salt and pepper shaker, but I'm like, man, I think they're they're like part of the stage here. I like the Kalakas. Uh, anyway, but we're starting out with, and uh, being it that it is um, Memorial Day weekend, I laugh because we get ancestor, star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. And it's kind of funny, um, I was talking to Matthew um, earlier this week, and I said, what if, what if your spirit guides or part of your spirit guides or whatever are your past life experiences? You know, just food for thought. But anyway, um, Star Ancestor. And Star Ancestor is about following the voice of your soul. What's your vibe? What's your rhythm? And keeping in connection with you. It's about living your truth and being your truth. And that is the energy that's starting to blow in. Now, let's see what happens as it blows in. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, um, you know, we have our energy. And this is, I'm like almost laughing, but not laughing. It's like a <laughs> kind of one of those um, uncomfortable laughs. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, so what's our obstacle? Our obstacle is is um, we're kind of on a treadmill. We keep working, but ain't nothing happen. We're not going forward. You can say, well, I did 15 miles on the treadmill, but you ran in place. Um, that's the kind of the vibe. This is our obstacle. If our energy is coming in about being um parting starting to live or be our vibe and following our natural instinct you know doing what we feel is that gut thing going yeah we need to do this and not that um our obstacle here again is we're kind of running in place you're going to have some resistance. You're going to have, um, you're going to have a little block there. Um, and I'm going to say from the outside in, not within you, but an energy, a force, experience, a person, whatever, um, you know, that's going to be blocking you from your growth and blocking you from doing something that you are ready and willing to do. Um, it's kind of like um, 
having to take your little brother with you on prom night, okay? That kind of block, if you get my drift. Um, you know, it's like you really want to do something and you really want to experience something and you want to get it going, but you actually, and I'm getting a person, I'm not getting experience, I'm getting a person, a person that's kind of standing in the way, um, that doesn't want you, um, to move forward, okay? Um, interesting because our help is shutting the old skin, uh, but it's in a reverse position. And um, the, I don't know if you know the song by Aerosmith, Same Old Song and Dance. That song started playing in my head. All right, so um, the, if High Priest Upside Down is our obstacle, this is our help. And I'm going to tell you, the help is, is that you already recognize this. You have already uh, experienced this kind of block from this person or these kind of people. Um, so it's nothing new. You're not surprised. You're not caught off guard. You're like, yeah, uh -huh, same old song, just, you know, same old song and dance. Um, you know, just maybe a different tune. But it's the same story over and over again. It's very predictable. Um, that's in your favor is that you already know the exact moves that you need to make in order to um, maneuver through that. Or um, I'm going to say adapt and not really so much adapt, but to overcome. Less of adaption because uh, the energy that comes in after that is the druid and it says hold the space but let's take a look at this um, there's a lot of wisdom in this a lot of wisdom in in this picture alone the feathers the uh crystal that's up there at the top so that's probably one of his you know he's holding on to um you know a conductor of energy um, he is in a good, deep, it uh, looks to me like almost trance-like um, state of being and holding that space. So um, when we look back at this card and knowing that we're going to have some block and it's going to be the same old song and dance, it's nothing new that we have not encountered before, we can take the information um, lessons learned, whatever way you want to look at it from our past experiences with that and be able to maneuver for success moving out of that. You already know it. You, you really kind of have the blueprints to that person. Um, what is it that's been holding you back from stepping ahead or stepping forward and taking, and I don't want to say ownership, but ownership of that relationship and, and you know, or, or taking over the, you know, the captain's wheel of this relationship. And if you need to steer away from it, steer away from it. If you need to put it in a new and different direction, you can do the same thing. But your resistance is coming from another person. It's not your own personal resistance. So stop trying to own that. Stop trying to own that. All right, so here is the beautiful, cool part of this. I love this card. Um, you know, um, uh, if uh, my boyfriend stops showing up, you know, the traitor card, and that's traitor as in T-R-A-D-E-R, not um, traitor as in Benedict Arnold. Um, uh, I might take him on up for a second boyfriend. I won't lie. He's kind of hot. Um, but, um, I'm like, he's, he's got a really kind of strange energy. This guy is really talking about tracking down and confronting your demons, your, um, you know, uh, your shadows, whatever way you want to use the hut word, I don't care. Um, all of the deep, dark, dark stuff, the, and, and, and fears are included in that. Um, the hunter is really kind of giving you a kick in the butt saying, okay, healing comes from within. Growth comes from within. Stop relying on external experiences 
in order to awaken both sides of who you are. That um, deep, dark side and then that light, light side, you know, the little fluffy light, you know, woo side of you. We each have a dark side and we each have a light side. It's just depending on which one we feed, just like the Native American uh, little, you know, analogy or story about feeding the wolf. What wolf do you feed? Um, the hunter is talking about confronting those things that we keep hidden, that we keep dark, that we, we put back and allowing us to bring those up to the light and um, maneuver or work through them, heal them, release them, whatever it is that you want to experience with that in order for you to move forward, to be able to um, overcome those fears and those blocks and those relationships that have been like driving you crazy and moving forward being who you really want to be and who you want to develop into. You know, um, Memorial Day weekend is a great time to sit back and reflect um, even on the past you, the you that you've let go that sometimes kind of still comes up every once in a while. Um, it's not about owning it. It's about giving it some honor and respect because it is a part of that mosaic that is you. Um, however, it is also really important to remember um, that we can leave that connection behind. It's okay to honor it and recognize it, but more importantly, it's okay to go ahead and leave that behind. You know, hopefully that some of those negative traits that we've carried and we've held on to that we can choose to let go of. So let's take another little gander at my boyfriend. He's so cute. And I'll see y'all later. Isn't he cute? Shoot, I think I'm going to have to cheat on Trader with Hunter. <sighs> what do you think? He's cute. I'll talk to y'all later.